do you also keep lord buddhas or gautam buddhas statues at your homes in decorative forms if yes then this video is certainly for you are you making any mistake that can be not so good for you do watch this video So as you saw in the introduction of this video, it's all about Buddhas or Gautam Buddhas statue that we keep at our homes. This is purely based upon the wisdom or upon the knowledge of Vastu, the Vastu Shastra. And many people may say that Buddha never promoted any superstition. Buddha was a Buddhist and he promoted... Um, peace and he promoted meditation and uh, he promoted charity and so on and so forth and is not related to Vastu Shastra, then that may be a perception. But every object that we place inside our homes, around ourselves, affect us. It can be any statue, it can be anything that is there. Like you see behind me, a flock of or a group of uh, flying butterflies. So flying butterflies are all about taking off, are all about transformation. And when we place this in our homes, it promotes your personal transformation, your personal growth. Now, let's come back to our topic of the day, Gautam Buddha or Lord Buddha statue. So Gautam Buddha is all about meditation, renunciation, peace of mind, calm of mind, serenity and composition. Now, if you notice the northeast direction of your house is always told that this direction should be kept the most decluttered, the most cleansed and the most organized. Why? Because that direction of your house or that direction of your room is certainly contributing to your personal peace of mind, your personal composition of your mind. That is why Lord Buddha's or Gautam Buddha's statue should only be placed in the northeast direction of your house. If you place it in the exact opposite, that is the southwest, then you might face detachment. What is the southwest direction? Southwest direction is about holding on. And you see that uh, the, the master bedrooms or uh, the bedrooms of the original owners of the house and um, anything that we need to hold upon are placed in the southwest direction. The so southwest direction is the direction of holding on, clinging on. And we don't want to cling ourselves to meditation, to loneliness, to uh, renunciation. Because if we know about Buddha, then Buddha renounced everything, renounced his title of the king and he became a monk to preach the wisdom that he, uh, or to preach the enlightenment that he got. Hence, if you place his statue anywhere except the northeast direction, let's say if you place it in the love relationship direction of your house, if you place it in the wealth direction of your house, now, you will face detachment from there, renunciation from there, renunciation from your relationships, renunciation from your money, wealth, prosperity. So, northeast direction is the only direction where we place the Lord Buddhas or Gautam Buddhas uh, statues or portraits or anything similar. It can be accompanied with um, a circulating water source or... Um, it can also be um, kept along with uh, a portrait of a waterfall, of a water body that is there, circulating water, not still water. So it shouldn't be any pond or any lake because northeast direction is also the direction of water element. So water element circulating is circulating your emotions and it is not letting you cling on to those emotions. So northeast direction is the direction of Prosperity is the direction of positivity, is the direction of your peace of mind. So it should always be kept the most possible cleansed, 
proper intact and in place now what to do if you cannot remove anything that is placed in the southwest or in the south or in the north direction of your house what to do in that case in that case you should add the elements of prosperity elements of relationship along with that statue that you have for example if it's in the love direction of your house then that direction can be accompanied with uh, it can be accompanied with two mandarin ducks it can be accompanied with anything that is in pair so pair brings peace peace within that pair likewise if you are placing it in the wealth direction then you can adorn buddha with some gold coins or um, something something glittery shimmery around him because he was originally and initially a king so these are small little things that do affect us and trust me this is something that i have experienced which has compelled me to make this video upon if you place gautam buddha or buddha statue in the wrong direction you will face renunciation you will face detachment in that direction and your whole life can go messed up i realized it at the at the right point of time you shouldn't be uh, having this skill that i didn't know it so make sure that you properly place this statue in your homes around you and you know where to exactly keep which element i'll come up again with a similar topic from the vastu around your homes and to beautify your homes till then take care of yourselves lots of love and do remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you still haven't because more and more the guy of fortune is going to be bringing for you lots of interesting contents Thank you so much for watching. Lots of love, light and peace towards you. Thank you so much.